Hi, yeah. Welcome to another video. Uh, this one is going to be another house video. So uh, as usual, I'll tell you no offense if you want to just sack it off for this week and come back next week for some Astro. Um, but this one, it's uh, been a while since I've done a house video and that's because it's taken me a while to do this last one. And um, it is the shower room in the master bedroom is what I've been doing. Um, I said at the end of the last house video that that was gonna be the next project and I've literally spent months and I thought I wouldn't take anywhere near as much time as I have doing this one, but it's literally taken months. Um, I'm gonna blame partly because of uh, COVID and stuff where I've not been able to get materials for a while, but it's still taken me, if you take a month off for the materials, it's still taken me two months to get it done. But anyway, we're gonna get into it. And then what I'm gonna do as well is, as I usually do, is put the costs of everything and which I did last night I wrote down all the costings I went through all the Amazon I went through all the screw fix the, the B&Q the drench I think was one of the website we got the vanity from stuff like that and I haven't summed it all up yet so I will sum it all up and we'll see how much I've actually paid so let's do a before and an after and this is how it looked before And there were some stains down in the um, in the living room down here, just up there, which made me think that the um, the shower wasn't working, which is why they weren't using it before. But that's the before. Here's the after. Okay, so there we are. Um, yeah, marble tiles and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll get into it more, I'm sure, but um, yeah, Marvel has been an absolute nightmare. So yeah, so here's the final result. I'm really happy with the end result. It looks really nice in there. The only thing we haven't done up to now is I need to fit a, a door on it, uh, an actual door, and um, also wanted a glass door for the shower. But at the moment, we've just got a five quid Amazon uh, shower curtain, and it will do for now kind of thing. So I originally started thinking I will do GoPro uh, time lapses of all of the work. So I originally started shooting absolutely everything that I was doing during the demo. And I soon filled that 64 gig card, and I soon realized that I was gonna fill my hard drive before I got anywhere near done. So I just stopped doing that at that point. So this is just the start of demo and taking out everything. Like all of the floorboards were rotten. It, it had been leaking, everything stunk. So I had to take everything out, literally rip it all apart. So yeah, so at that point I realized that it, it wasn't gonna happen um, doing the time lapse in. So I needed to just take photos and that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna try and speed through these now. So there was literally just some plywood stuck and drilled into the studs and then they are tiled on top of the plywood. So it was never waterproof and it was always gonna be leaking, which is why it stunk. So this is the shots of the demo. I just chucked it out the window. You can see here though, and they pushed into the shower as I was pulling it apart. That So I, this old newspaper, so I could tell that the last time this was done is 2007, which I thought was really interesting. But yeah, look at the state of this. It's literally just plywood and then just tiled on top of it. And then that's supposed to be waterproof. So um, yeah, so I'm, I'm cutting everything out. Everything absolutely stinks. It's all rotten. It's all got to go. And I've put new ply in. Um, I've had to put new stud work in. So again, everything that stunk, I've taken it out. And then this is the state of my work area. This is everything bought. So this is basically a shower room in the spare bedroom for the time being. And this is me starting to do the plumbing. This is the annoying part where I bent and then had to rebuy the shower head. So yeah, so this is me fitting the plumbing in now. Uh, that's the shower installed. Uh, started getting onto the waste and this little tool was really, really good for cutting the waste. There's my Frankenstein plumbing, as always. Started fitting the shower tray. Then it was time to plaster board and plaster. Well, I got a Sparky in to do the electrics. So now I'm doing the waterproof boarding on here. And then I've um, sealed it all in. There's cement down there to seal the edges. Then the next thing after the boarding was putting the waterproof tape on. Then the next thing was the, um, the, the waterproof, the tanking kit. I ended up using two tanking kits. I've then put the insulation in, then plaster boarded. Then the tiles arrived. And again, yeah, marble tile. It looks lovely, but it is absolutely not worth using. I would never recommend. When we were looking at it, we, we, went, we decided to go for marble because it was the same price as porcelain, fake marble. And so we thought, well, why would you not? But marble is horrible to work with. Like it's so soft, you can just 
crack it so easy uh, and it's so porous as well so I would never use marble again I would always go fake porcelain marble uh, so yeah so I've done the plaster in here that's it drying so the next thing is the underfloor heating kit now I dropped a bollock there I bought the wrong size underfloor heating kit but because I was eager and I bought everything months earlier I um, <laughs> I ended up buying the wrong size. Instead of buying a one square meter, I bought a two square meter. And at this point when I rolled it out, if I'd have known from the start, I would have fit the underfloor heating underneath the shower tray. But because I didn't know at that point, what I decided to do was just put it into the main bedroom there. So in the thought process was that it would, um, it would any water, the underfloor heating would then obviously evaporate the water that's on the room. So yeah, so I then put leveler down. Once the leveler is dried, it's time to start doing the tiling. So I've dry fitted in the shower tray. I'm then doing the, shower, the um, floor tiles. Grouted there, that was another mistake. Doing the floor tiles first, I, I do agree, and I will do that again in future, but doing the floor tiles first and then grouting, really bad idea. I should have left the grout right till the end. Next then I've grouted the shower. That's when we started now, I actually, putting the tiles onto the shower. So here we are slowly working my way up. Um, that's the next annoying thing with marble. You have to lay all of the tiles out and you can't just put them randomly straight out of the box. You have to lay them all out and get the pattern looking okay. And if you then cock a tile up with a cutting, then you throw the whole pattern out and you have to start again. It's been a nightmare. The next mistake I made was when I did the measuring to fit the uh, concealed shower, I measured and I put it too far back. I'm not sure why I did that. So what I've had to then do is cut a hole in the waterproof board so I could get to the, uh, the concealed shower valve, then had to unscrew it, cut a hole in the tile that I'd already laid to then unscrew it, sorry, and then bring it forward and push a block behind it to re-drill <laughs> re it, man. Um, obviously, I'm, it's, I might as well show the whole process in the hopes that someone else doesn't make the mistakes that I do. Uh, what I then did there, you can see that I've, um, with the sealant, I've fixed the hole that I made. I then realized I'd done the exact same thing with the main shower head. For some reason, didn't do it with the second shower head, but did it with everything else. Really frustrating. Here's the first dry fit of the, um, of the shower kit. And then it's just on with the tiling and with the edging, which I was quite happy with. That shit was expensive. And here's the vanity. That was also expensive. And here's once again, my Frankenstein plumbing, just a dry fit. Then I stuck the plasterboard on. Then at this point, I realized that um, this stuff is a lifesaver. And if I'd known it from the start, this is literally just painter's tape with, with plastic sheeting. I think it's called something like that on Amazon. You literally just stick it down and pull the plastic sheeting out and it protects all the floor. That would have saved me ages if I'd known that from the start. So yes, yeah, so we're just carrying on with the tiling. Again, the tiles are lovely. The tiles are lovely, but they're just a ball light like to work with. Next, I'm doing the step. Then the vanity is getting installed properly. Vanity working. Final bit of tiling still on the left-hand side there and the niche as well. Fit the radiator. And then we're almost there at the end. And there we are. Final bit, of the van, final bit of the niche done there, final bit of grouting. And then right at the very end is the, the, yeah, the final shot here. And then, oh yeah, the fitting of the extractor fan. I got a plum, I got a electrician in to fit that, but um, he made an arse of it, so I had, to, I had to refit it. And there we are. That is the final shot. So we'll do the start and the final product again. And there we are. So yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's the start and then there's the finish. Obviously massive, massive difference. I'm really happy with, with how I did it. Um, I basically, I, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. All I did was just spend hours and hours watching on YouTube how to do all of the different elements that I needed to do here. And um, I went massively over the top with a lot of the uh, waterproofing. You don't need to do, go as far with the levels of waterproofing that I did, but I couldn't risk it leaking. I just couldn't risk it leaking, especially with the amount of money that we'd spent on the tile and you know on the marble and things like that. So, right, so uh, what I was doing last night was going through all of my Amazon history, 
going through all the things that I bought, like the, the backer boards, the, the, you know, the washers that I had to buy a little bit. Of. I'm not including the tools because I'm going to use them to, again, but the, the niche, the actual shower itself, the underfloor heating, all of the, all of the bits that I used with this, I have added it all together. I then, yeah, um, we got a vanity two. This one here from Drench. And yeah, so I've just let, I've been adding everything together. All, and I then went on to, sorry, on to Screwfix as well. And we've just been through everything that I had to buy. All the adhesive, which, which I did, I did cost this actually, did cost this at the start and I costed it out at like um, 1200 quid. But what I never do when I'm costing my projects is I never cost for the actual, like, uh, I cost for the main material, so like the shower tray, the tiles, etc., etc. But I never cost for all of these things the sealant, the screws, the waste pipes, the, you know, all the, you know, the elbows for the shower head, all of this stuff, all this stuff I, I never actually bother to. <laughs> budget for so I've put them all together last night and I've been through everything but what I've not done is sum it all up so I'm gonna do it now and I do feel a little bit nervous fucking hell 2555 pounds and 8p shit so yeah I costed it like 1200 quid and I've spent way way I've spent over double so oh, it looks lovely we spent far too much I said the last time that we'd spent far too much doing the downstairs here and that I needed to rein it in when I went upstairs and I've not done that. So I will do that <laughs> going forward. Wow, I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Two and a half grand. Fuck's sake. Right, that'll be it. I reckon this is long enough now. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, I really do appreciate it and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Take care.